Oh, hey, thanks so much for meeting me here today. Now, I know we don't have long, so I'll try and make this quick. Now, I want to tell you a story, one that you haven't heard before. It's going to get really exciting because there's a big twist coming at the end. Last year, my friends, Mark and Gabby, two legends, after seeing the stories of children in poverty, decided they wanted to make a difference, and they wanted it to be huge. So, together with a bunch of friends, we decided to do the 40-hour famine, but differently to how it's ever been done before. Now the 40-hour famine goes towards children in Bangladesh, giving them food, water and education. So we decided to run from Melbourne to Bangladesh. That's 8,896 kilometres. Now the more I shared the idea with people and asked them what they thought of it, the more sceptical and doubtful they became we'll be able to do it. Just before we launched it, I got a Facebook message from a girl who doesn't go to our school. It was about her PE teacher, a man who had once climbed Mount Everest, saying that she told him about the 40-hour run and how she was going to personally run 100 kilometres. And so I said, what did he say? Retard. Give up now before you fail to try. Now, this was legit what he said. I didn't know what to say back to him. I was in shock. So, but then she texts through. It doesn't matter. I think I can because I'm too young to know better. So, after hearing this girl's story, we renamed our campaign to get a 40 hour run to hashtag TYTKB. This was like a permission slip to do and to try anything. And if people thought that we couldn't, it didn't matter because we were TYTKB. At assembly, we told people. We dare you to take a risk and do something you've never done before. Now, this is exciting because you got around it and hundreds of people like you supported it. We were able to raise $87,184, which also included 12 very brave students running over 100 kilometres each. Because you came and ran around a stoppage, we were able to supply 1.4 years of food aid and clean water to three entire communities in Bangladesh. Now, I hope you're paying attention because this is only half the story. Now, since last year, the main question that I've been asked is can we do TYTKB again? And the answer is yes. So this year, we've dreamed bigger and more ambitious than ever before. Now, first, let me give you a metaphor. See, this hole over here, it represents my life. And if you will be honest, probably yours as well. We all grow up in our own world, consuming things like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and School of Sport. And there's nothing wrong with these things, but you only have to turn on the news and realize that the rest of the world just isn't like that. So last year I hopped up outside of a, our own metaphorical hole and this room here represents the amount of people that we were able to help. Now it's a good size and all, but I say let's make it a whole lot bigger. So for TYTKB 2.0, we're gonna smash down this wall as a metaphor of all the people that we're gonna help. But there's a catch, you see. We've already asked our school for permission to walk and run for 40 hours and sleep the night. And it's not their fault, but due to oh and reasons, we simply can't. That's okay, since if you know the sort of people we are, we wouldn't have let something like this stop us, or else we wouldn't have got this far in the first place. I'll meet you on the other side of the wall. Okay, so this is the other side of the wall. It doesn't look much different, it smells a whole lot worse. There's a dead rat in that corner, the syringe is lying on the ground, and it feels really yuck, just like poverty. But as my mum used to say, out of the darkest situations can come the brightest stories. And for us, things have just got a whole lot brighter. We've been given permission to use the venue for 12 hours. Our original dream was to run for 40 hours, Melbourne to Bangladesh. But due to reduced time, we've also been advised to reduce the distance as well. But what they don't know... I ate impossible things for breakfast! That's right, because we are TYTKB. And what they haven't calculated, our secret weapon. You, and what you'll do after watching this clip. On August the 20th, 2016, from 9am to 9pm, I, and along with anyone else who wants to join me, will run the impossible distance of 8,896 kilometers. Now you're probably wondering, what if this doesn't work? Well, that's what everyone expects, right? The media constantly paints a negative image of youth. Young people these days. But I know, by the simple virtue of the fact you're still watching this clip, that they've got it all wrong. So, but what if, what if it actually like, doesn't work though. But what if it does? See, with the DJ playing, music pumping, fun vibes in the air, hopefully hundreds, maybe even thousands of us, students from all over Melbourne, running, walking, standing for what we know is right. Now I can hardly imagine how much money and more importantly, how many thousands and thousands of mouths that we would be able to feed. Now in case you're wondering why we film this in the abandoned warehouse, it's simple. 
This place represents missed opportunities. It's a place where something started but didn't finish. It's a place where dreams have died. And that's what happened for the Huffington Brothers in 1936. And everything I've told you about TYTKB 2.0 is still just a dream. It has the potential to go viral, but it also has the potential to die right here. Here's the deal. Melbourne, it rests upon what happens in the next 13 seconds. Firstly, sign up with your school for the 40 hour planet. Secondly, start fundraising. Spread the word of TYTKB, the movement, with your friends, your family, and anyone that you know. And finally, be there. Saturday, the 20th of August, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. This is just a blurb. Now it's your turn to write the story. See you at the track.